Good morning. We are back. Marine City. Look at that. So it's been a couple months since we've actually been here. And really the reason why, you guys can see out there, is that the river, St. Clair River, was too warm to try to go for walnut walleye. So I think the water temperature is roughly about 60 degrees right now. It's maybe 61. Oh, they're jumping. There's fish jumping down there. Ha. So we are here in the morning. It is, I think about 5, 5.30. Maybe 6. Let's say 6. Let's check. How's that sound? Does that sound better? All right. Quarter to 6. We have some worms. So we're going to do two things. I am going to set up one rod with uh, some a worm and have uh, that hook be about two feet above the bottom of the river and the other one I'm going to try jigging for a little bit and we'll see how that goes so we're back wish us luck remember last time that we went fishing here we caught a whole bunch of rock bass so let's we'll see how it goes all right half hour in no bites yet. So let me know if I am doing this a little wrong. I got a one ounce jig head with the plastic bait, which I'm casting out there onto jig off the floor of the river. So, so far, nothing. Get a wheat patch, we'll say about 20 feet out. That starts. And then I'm um, also doing my second line with a worm. And it's got a three ounce weight on it. So it's just sitting on the bottom. Nothing yet. All right, one hour in. We have roughly about 45 minutes before sunrise. Two bites, nothing caught. And that's about it so far. Um, I did just switch to a black jack, black jig head instead of a yellow one, and then also changed the lure, some like a little sparkly thing. So we'll see how that goes. Got our first Laker. He's been silent. I haven't even heard him. So I did have a pretty significant bite on the line that has the worm out there. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to land it. Take a look at this guy. And then the other one, um, I did switch lures again, but I lost a couple lures out there. Snagged onto a something down below. I was able to pull it in, so I assume that's probably some sort of log or branch or something. Trying to see what this one is. It's called the uh, Arthur Anderson. Whew. Look how calm that water is. The sun will be up in about a half hour. So far, no fish. That guy. Got a little update. We caught, not didn't catch anything yet, but uh, had a couple things on the line. One broke um, my line. Uh, one thing of note when you're ever fishing over here in Marine City, um, what I found is that if you're by this ladder, there is something that is a We'll call it a lure eater. So I've lost about three or four lures here this morning. Um, or something that's down there. So I think if you're ever fishing over here by the lighthouse, that um, you maybe move a little bit further upstream to avoid it. So I think I might try that next time. But right now I'm just uh, fishing with a worm and a three ounce weight that's about uh, two, two and a half feet 
above or below rather the hook <laughs> finally caught something you ready for it old fishing line lure attached to metal put up a good fight <laughs> this is gonna go in the trash all right skunked simply put that's it nothing landed that's okay um it's about 835 start getting a little cold there um, rain started coming down a little bit so decided to pack it up I think tomorrow morning what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to the Detroit River and uh, fish near the ambassador bridge and hopefully uh, there'll be a bunch of people there where I can get some tips so that uh, try to learn how to walleye fish from the shore so definitely doing something wrong but if you had an opportunity to watch this short video please comment and offer any tips and tricks that might help me to fish either the Detroit River or St. Clair from the shore take care